This is day 45, episode 25 of my modular journey. And today we're talking about the Expert Sleepers Disting Mark IV. The Disting has a X and Y input, an A and B output, a Z uh, input for CV for the Z knob, and it has this brilliant little S knob with the clicker. Uh, it has a little SD card for samples because this, is, this will play back audio samples. I'm not going to demonstrate that because I can't get them to work. Uh, what this is, is a many-in-one multifunction module. Uh, it has things like uh, precision adders, quantizers, and of course sample and hold, uh, slew rate limiters, extraordinary amount of DSP. So that brings me exactly to why I chose it. So why did I choose Disting? Because it literally shows up in every video. Again, it's another magnificent module that everybody's really happy with. Lots of love. How I plan to use it is mostly for an effects rig. For right now, I'm going to use it for uh, reverb or delay. Mostly the delay things. Um, I'll probably, once I figure out the audio, what my, whatever my audio playback problem is, I, I want to get some good sounding drums in here. Alright, let me get it in the box and we'll turn it on and show you the few things that I did discover uh, in my playing over the last couple of days. So of course one of the first things I had to learn was how to navigate. And I don't know if, uh, if this is going to help anybody, but I did learn you have to press this twice. And then you can flip the knob to pick your algorithm. So of course you start at A1, which is the precision adder. If you go one to the left from A1, it takes you to P8. That means it goes from A1 to A8 and then B1 to B8 all the way up to P8. There is a lot of, uh, a lot of different pieces of software packed into this little box. And when I started really playing with this and learning uh, things the other day, I was amazed how complex the things are that it does, and yet it's still this tiny little module. I think one of the first things I'm going to show off is probably going to be the, the clockable ping pong delay, which is in C3. So for this, I'm only going to need one line, one line, one audio signal in, and that's going to be coming from the chainsaw. So you see I have my chainsaw sound path set up from most of the previous demos. So for this ping-ponging, we have a, a left, left and a right. So there, that's that simple. Uh, y is the clock. And so I can probably take this extra wire here. Come from a, I'm going to come from Pamela because Pamela is a clock. And so if I shove that in there and turn on the clock... All right, so right now I have it on 120 beats and eight times one. So let's see what happens when I start making noise. All right, striking a key on the keyboard. And that is ping-ponging according to the clock signal coming from Pamela's new workout. So if I come to Pamela and I raise that, that rate to like times two. Let's go to times eight. See what happens. We're, we're looking at disting Mark IV and, and what I plan to do with it. And that is using it for a DSP. Oh yeah, so turning up feedback. So that's kind of the ping pong delay. That's kind of the same parameters for all of these delay type things I'm going to look at. So the C7, the phaser, when I was messing with that before. Uh, so again, X is our audio input. Y is our sweep, a sweep. So this time we're going to move this over to, a, uh, to an LFO sign. Z is, of course, the feedback again. And A and B are two outputs, but they're phase shifted a little bit. So that's 
a little obnoxious. Uh, anyway, that's uh, that's kind of a little little phaser. I'm going to go to D2. D2 is what's called a tape delay. So I have uh, audio in again to X. I have uh, tape speed here in Y. Z is once again my feedback. I'll start it at zero. And then A and B are are set to output according to what mode it's in. So output mode on this is again if you hold the knob and and turn it to three then you can change the output mode to zero, one, or two. Or A is mixed and B is delay only. A and B are mixed or A and B are delay only. So I'm gonna leave it in, uh, let's, let's start it with zero, which is A is the mix, meaning your, your left ear is the, the mix of just the note, which of course you can hear. And then B is the tape delay d signal. Now let's bump the mode up to A and B are mixed. So it kind of kills a little bit of the stereo. And if we go up to the third mode, which A and B are delay only. Now when I press a key, I don't actually hear anything until the, the delay kicks in. So that, that makes sense. So I'm going to go back to mode zero and get out of here. Uh, let's go to uh, one of the settings next is tape length. So by default, the tape length is 43. But if you lower that, you make this shorter. Parameter two is the speed. So now, not only do you have a length of the, of the tape loop, but now how fast is it going? That's kind of, that is so badass. <laughs> I'm sorry that I am so thrilled by that. And now there's about 30 more different tools uh, that I would probably be interested in using in the Disting Mark IV, uh, but I have yet to discover them. Mostly I'm playing with just, like you just saw, most of the delay or reverb or or some kind of, a, uh, of an effects thing, because that's what I'm going to use it for, at least initially. That is the end of episode 25, the Expert Sleepers Disting Mark IV. 84 modules in one and inexpensive 169 bucks you can buy four of them coming up next the second mount everest of my modular journey pulling the trigger on a sequencer the xor electronics nerd sec stay tuned for that <laughs>